Both Ms. Gilliard and Mr. Mel were brutally tortured and then murdered by Xavier Johnson. Developing tonight, a teenager is now facing charges in two murders, and police say it was all over money. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. Tonight, we are learning disturbing details about the crimes. I would assume reporter Matt Petrillo is live from police headquarters with all of the very latest information. Matt. Well, Jess and Yuki, Philadelphia police believe after killing his victims, he then stole cash, a car, and a PlayStation from them. And authorities worry there could have been even more violent acts if they didn't catch up with him yesterday afternoon. It is my hope that his arrest will provide some degree of solace to their families. Today, Philadelphia police announced first degree murder charges against 17 year old Xavier Johnson. He admit to these crimes? We haven't spoken to Mr. Johnson yet. Eyewitness News was on Sansom Street in West Philadelphia yesterday as police led Johnson into a police van after he had crashed his slain foster mother's SUV. The crash happened hours after police discovered a crime scene that was left by Johnson over in Northwest Philadelphia. That's where police say 64 year old Renee Gilliard was found lifeless in a bathtub with stab wounds. Today, Philadelphia Acting Police Commissioner Christine Coulter said Gilliard was the mother of a Philadelphia police police officer just to live through any death in your family is a horrible experience. But to, you know, know that your mother was murdered is just a terrible thing. But Gilliard turned out to be Johnson's second murder victim. Johnson is also charged in the death of 20 year old Jimmy Mao, who went missing in late December. That's when police believe Johnson stabbed and then killed Mao. But investigators are being tight lipped over exactly how they connected Johnson to Mao's murder. We developed information for our investigation. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't be more specific than that. All right, it would, it would divulge too much. What police did say is Jimmy Mao was a foster brother from another home at another time. Police also believe the same knife could have been used in both attacks. And right now, forensic testing is being done to determine that. Reporting live at Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you.